Boy, what a terrific struggle for the top spot. Schilling saw Gordon that time. Now he's been challenged. Now he knows that somebody else is back there. If he didn't know it before, he's huh. really got the idea. And Look Schilling at goes that. into a big spin. He takes Gordon to the wall. Gordon smacks the wall very hard. Jeff now, Gordon hits the fence. Now, I have to call that the way I saw it. Rich Vogler drove right down on top of, of, of uh, Don Schilling. Don Schilling. And then it just... It just ran over his left front, right front tire and spun him out. Now, it is a move that we have seen here at the Indianapolis Raceway Park several times before. Remember that last year, Mark Dismore took a tremendous tumble in that corner when uh, he was fighting with Jack Calabrese. They came together similar to what happened in that move, and uh, Mark received serious injuries to his hand. We see Jeff getting out of the car. Very happy to see that because he took a tremendous lick into that fence. He did take a tremendous lick, and there was no need for it. And the reason that happened is because Vogler's car, here it goes. Well, here it is again. Going in the corner, Vogler comes down. Look at the white line. He drives way down, way down over the front of him, almost in the grass, and tried to drive him down in the grass. There was no reason for it, except the fact that his car was loose, and he was trying to protect his position by using all the racetrack. Well, I, want, I will say that I have heard race drivers say that if it ain't grass, it's racetrack. So it becomes... A judgment call although you're a race driver and you've got some strong feelings you've been in that position not only the position that rich was in but also the position that Schilling was in but Schilling was not driven all the way down in the grass but the lane did get narrow well he, he just ran over his, his right front tire I mean you can't call it any different than that well Gary is standing by with uh, Jeff Gordon real happy to be talking to Jeff Gary well you raised your helmet and shook it at rich as you went by so how did you see it oh uh, it was Rich is just, he's not as fast as me and Schilling. We're faster cars. We're out there trying to pass him. He's just trying to hold his own spot. He about ran Don in the infield. I mean, you know, and Don couldn't do anything but get on the brakes, and it just cost him to get sideways. It, it wasn't Don's fault. It was Rich's fault. It's going to be a tough race uh, for Mahoney, unless all of a sudden now his, his tires have come in, coming back in shape, and the car is, is fast. To get by Vogler, he's using every bit of racetrack there is out there and his car is not working at all and uh if someone gets alongside of him it, they're you know they're in his hands again and i wouldn't want to be there mahoney's a lot faster than vogler he just can't get by because he's using the whole racetrack they're afraid to get next to him besides that tell us what happened from your viewpoint what happened up there at the third turn what did he say happened well, i want to hear from you now i made the mistake of racing with rich that's what i think what did rich do I don't know. I don't remember, you know, but it was just, it was too close and he was cutting me down, you know. I mean, if you can't pass Rich fast, don't try to pass him. You know? But Rich Vogler, when all is said and done, despite any controversy you might want to raise, despite all of the serious crashes that have take, taken place tonight, Rich Vogler wins again on ESPN. He won the race, and there's no doubt about that. He won the race. But I'd sooner win a race by beating guys fair and square than driving them in the infield. We'll be back with more from the Indianapolis Raceway Park after these words. Yeah, but again. let's go back a number of laps to what happened over there in turn three. There are a couple of drivers that aren't real happy with you right now. Well, I don't know what, what happened, but uh, you mean I won the restarts? I don't, I don't understand. When you were dicing with uh, Schilling and also well, got to Gordon Bob, what do you well, say? I don't, uh, they weren't, I didn't even see him. I saw Schilling a couple of times alongside of me, but uh, I never even saw him. I would like to make a statement about last week's Thursday Thunder Midget program. I feel as though I call the incident with Rich Vogler, Don Schilling, and, and uh, Jeff Gordon exactly the way it happened. And I would call it the same way again tonight if I were there. But I do feel as though I stepped a little overboard and made a statement out of the uh, emotions rather than being a journalistic statement at the very end, and I have to apologize for that statement, but the rest of the statements, I stand behind fully, and like I say, if I were there tonight, I would do the same thing again if, if necessary, if I saw it that way and I called it that way.